anything before we call you to worship. Um, there's a passage in 2 Timothy uh, 1 7. And it, and it said, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. That's what the Lord's given us. So we're not to be afraid. Because I'm going to lay a lot of stuff on you today. And you're going to need Bibles. So if you don't have your Bibles, uh, Sam has stationed some up here and some back on the table. And uh, these are our pew Bibles. Now, I'll tell you one thing about the pew Bible. Uh, it's it's an, an easy to read version. Mm -hmm. But whoever wrote the intros to the, the Gospels couldn't have been a Christian. No, it's just they're terrible. I mean, it's just ripped them out and thrown away. But, uh, but the translation itself is okay. So just be aware of that. And you may write in them. And if you don't have a Bible or you don't have a Bible you carry around, you can keep these. We've got a bunch of them and we, we do use them. The idea is to put all the stuff into use. Not to have it in, you just look at it, pat it on the head. We have uh, John Bazinet uh, is going to be um, in Massachusetts for three or four months. Uh, John, um, you remember when we had our all-night prayer session, mm -hmm. and, uh, we, and a lot of those folks were Korean. And, and they're <laughs> from a very large, uh, well-known Korean church uh, right on the outskirts of Boston. Amen. And um, uh, their pastor, who was here that night, the senior man, uh, was uh, called to, I believe he has to go to Korea, he has to go someplace for three, four months uh, for study and sharing and so forth. And so they've asked John to be their fill-in pastor for three, Amen. three four months. Nice. So, so, you know, uh, just because we got a little church and a little place in Maine, <laughs> Does it mean that you don't affect God's world and the whole world? And we're going to be looking at that today with the little church. And I hope that when we look at this, you're going to see that this is the model that God's calling us to have as a church and calling us to follow Him. Now, one thing that is not church business but lightly related is if any of you are interested in buying a guitar, <laughs> I have a good friend, he's come to Jeff and Donald, he's come to some of our Bible studies, and he has a, a Jasmine guitar, which is a nice guitar, he just bought a more expensive guitar, and it's a soft case and book, and he's asking $100 for it, uh, and, and that's good price, and it's his. So. Oh, yeah. Acoustic <laughs> electric? No, no, they're acoustic. Uh, Jasmine's an acoustic guitar. Um, of course, you can just put a mic on it and do that. Uh, so at any rate, if anybody's looking for a guitar, well, that's a nice one. All right. Now, let's see here. Um, I talked to you last week about the sale, the rummage sale, among other things, and, and talked about what the point of the sale are. You know, the primary point is for us to meet people in the community, bring them in and, and bring them to the Lord. That's the point of the sale. And, uh, and the second point is to strengthen the church itself in working together. Uh, and, and that includes uh, some of those folks that, that need help because they can't always function on their own, you know, like little John, you know. And that guy is a very bright man. He knows the scriptures, he has a lot of scriptures by heart, and he knows an awful lot of stuff about anger and stuff, because he's gone through all kind of training on it. And he shared that a bit at the very end of uh, Thursday's Bible study. And uh, so there's a lot more to Johnny than it looks, but he needs, he needs people to help him and get their attention. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't function well just on his own. So so just bear that in mind. And, there, and there's always somebody that just, you know, sometimes people just need just need a handshake and a how are you doing and thank you, especially thank you for what you're doing. Because most of us, you know, we don't, not many people ever tell us thank you. You know, the workers in the homes, they're doing a wonderful thing for the Lord, really. You know, 
And does anybody <laughs> say thank you? I hope Leo and Mabel do once in a while. Yeah, you know? And, uh, and, uh, and Jay Lynn says thank you once in a while. I've, I've been telling Alicia a lot. Good. So, you know, so, but everybody needs to hear that. You know? Uh, every ministry in the church is important. And I just want you to be aware of that and think about that. Um, I didn't know if at this point, time of the year the church would be interested in purchasing uh, a couple of air conditioners for the church. <coughs> probably should have talked about that a month or so ago. Yeah. But uh, just as a general idea, uh, is, is there anybody that would like to get air conditioners right now, or are you? You don't need it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's okay. When's so, gonna right. be? I don't know. So we, and a half. All right. All right. So we got a few yes and more no, but so all right. The Lord's giving me something on that. So that all right. Don't worry about it. All right. More. What I would like to do is Robin is uh, setting up the church accounts now, and uh, I'd like her to just give a real quick report and update on our church accounts and also uh, on our Haiti mission. Mm. Robin, would you? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Pastor Robin. Uh, I like this kind of day. It's cooler. You know, I get to see rainbows.